Watch this 10 second video and pay close attention. Can you figure out where and how it was shot? Try this one. If you can't figure it out, you're not alone. These videos are not shot by anyone, by any lens, by any camera at any location. These hyper-realistic videos are generated by OpenAI's, yes, the same people who gave us ChatGPT, their newest text-to-video model called Sora, like the guy in Kingdom Hearts. That's right, these hyper-realistic looking videos are made by AI simply from written instructions. Check out this one for example. The prompt is, a movie trailer featuring the adventures of the 30-year-old spaceman wearing a red wool-knitted motorcycle helmet, blue sky, salt desert, cinematic style, shot on 35mm film, vivid colors. Now you might think this is no big deal. AI has always been capable of doing things like this from the beginning. We all have this sort of presumed idea that AI and technology can do anything and everything without breaking a sweat. But let's just have a look at this video, which is also generated by AI just 11 months ago. I mean, no doubt it is a slapping video for a newborn AI. Will Smith munching on spaghetti while looking like a flailing, inflatable dancing man you see outside supermarkets. But think about this. In just 11 months, we have moved from sloppy cartoonish looking videos to insanely hyper-realistic video creations at your fingertips. This speed of development of AI is unrealistic. I mean, the black and white TV came out in 1936 and then it took them another eight years to come up with a color television. At this point, they're not even taking strides. They're going leaps and bounds towards not just blurring, but completely deleting the line between real and fake. And the implications of this will be massive. I mean, who or what will you be able to trust eventually? Deep fake has been around for some time. I mean, scammers use voice replication to swindle people out of their hard earned cash by impersonating their loved ones. But even deep fake requires some effort. But to be able to create a hyper-realistic video down to the very last detail, like what video quality do you want? Do you want uh, it to be shot like a cinematic shot or uh, like shot on a smartphone camera? The lens type, the setting, the color scheme, the ethnicity and facial features of the characters and all that with the simple text input. It's just unreal. At this point, it's not going to just be about uh, using it for wrong and dangerous stuff. I feel it will impact people's trust to pretty much an unrepairable degree. Video is pretty much the only proof we have of an event. I mean, a certain proof that we have of an event. Until now, at least. Now, it'll be like you'll have to want to see it with your own eyes to believe it. I do have to say, it is indeed incredible to see the speed of development of AI. I mean, earlier we saw Google come up with their Gemini which can analyze videos and images and now two months later we have OpenAI coming up with a text to a video model that can create hyper realistic videos and in between we had Galaxy AI uh, which can basically assist you with uh, video editing by creating frames out of thin air to slow down a video and with image editing and so much more. I can't help but commend it. I'd like to reiterate this. I think it will have tremendous positive implications, uh, especially in education, for example, generating a video on the spot to explain to kids a scientific phenomenon like uh, Bernoulli's principle, because we all know visual explanation is much more helpful than verbal. But in the longer run, will the kids really need to put in all that effort to learn all the principles that have gotten us this far when they can simply resort to AI? I feel real intelligence of a few people is being used to create artificial intelligence which will eventually diminish the real intelligence of many. That's actually a nice quote. I copyright that. Now hold your horses there. Don't rush away from the video googling how you can use Sora. You can't. Yet. All these videos I showed you and more they're on OpenAI's blog which they released recently. It is still under development and testings at the hand of safety experts to expose and fix any loopholes or bugs. We don't really have a timeline on as to when it will be ready for public use but it will be soon. I'd like to hear from you guys what do you think? Is it a gift? Is it a curse? I mean everything has its pros and cons but what decides whether it is good or bad for everyone as a whole is when either the pros or the cons outweigh each other. Don't be shy, let me know in the comments below what you think. That's it for now guys. If you enjoyed my rant, hit the like button below, share the video with your friends and subscribe 
and turn on all the notifications so you don't miss out on any new content. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Links are in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.